So you saw this on the first page. We have temperature conversions you have to be able to do in this class. Make sure that you've practiced these. So I'm going to work both of these problems. Pause the video. Now you really do want to pause the video and try it on your own. And then you can watch me work the problem and make sure that it makes sense. Notice that this 98.6 right here, if we were going to do the math out to side, so 98.6 and um, this is actually supposed to be 32.0. So 98.6 times or minus 32.0 gives us, if we were keeping like our decimal positions, the 6 there, the 6, and the 6. So I would just put this in your calculator, but remember that you're going to keep it to the tenth place. So we've got um, 5 divided by 9 times parentheses 98.6 minus 32.0. So again, we've got that extra decimal place in there, 37.0. Now we're gonna add these two together. We know that the 98.6 is actually 37.0. So then when we add these together, we have 273.15 plus 37.0. Many thermometers will only read to that tenths place. So just be aware of that when you're doing these calculations. So I'm gonna add the two together. So five, one, zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one. And then for rounding, it's gonna round, it rounds to that same place value, like it rounds right to there. So it would actually be 310.2 Kelvin. <laughs> there we go. And this is just comparison of the chart if you've never seen or you're unfamiliar with it. The Celsius and the Kelvin scale, like they match up in certain positions and, and so does the Fahrenheit scale in a sense. But the big key proponent of this is that this distance here, this is exactly 100 apart. And then like when you're looking here, we are exactly 40 apart. So the increments are the same. In the Celsius and the Kelvin charts. Now you look at the Fahrenheit and do you see how they're completely off? Like the 180 right there. That increment is not the same increment as 100. So the Fahrenheit chart is very different from how it reads temperature than the Celsius or the Kelvin chart. But you can work all of these equations here without even having to understand that. You just know that you need to put things in. Um, you just know that you need to put things in Kelvin or that you need to put things in Celsius. And on yours, that would have said Kelvin if you were confused. <laughs>